Profex version 5 has just arrived. It is now available for download from the Profex website. And I would like to give a very brief overview of some of the most prominent new features and also show how to upgrade from the previous version. For Windows, I recommend to use the 64-bit installer version. Download link here. You can also get a portable bundle, this one. This is helpful if you don't have administrator privileges on your system. You only can need to extract this zip file and you can run Profex from there. But normally it's better to use the installer because this also supports upgrades. Note that there is no 32-bit version anymore. This is no longer supported by Profex version 5. We cannot use the update function to upgrade from version 4 to version 5. Instead, we have to do a full installation of version 5. So we just run the installer. And we install it in a new directory in the program files folder in Profex 5. And now we have both versions, version 4 and version 5, installed. And we can actually run them side by side. This is version 4 that was already installed. And this is version 5. And we have to go through auto configuration. We click yes. Indexing of the structure files. We click yes again. This is the new version. It looks more or less the same as the previous version. And you can run them side by side. So if you want to keep version 4 for a while, there's no need to uninstall it. But if you don't need it anymore, you can uninstall it from the Windows settings. Go to Apps. Search for Profex. Now we have both versions. This is version 4. And this is version 5. And to uninstall, just click here. Remove all components. To install the new version on a Mac, we go to the Mac OS X download page. And now we can see the first new feature. This new version is actually now available on Apple Silicon platform. It does no longer use the Rosetta 2 emulation. So if you are using a new M1 processor, get this version here. If you are using an Intel processor, get this version here. And I can mount the disk image and just copy this folder from the disk image to my applications folder. And in there, I will find Profex. In the start menu entry of Profex 5, you can actually see some new program modules called Profex ED, Profex ST, and Profex WP. And these are modules that are also found in the Tools menu. It's the Electron Density Map module, the Trace Scan Figures module, and the waterfall plot module. These are now actually standalone applications. So we can still launch them from the tools menu of the Profex main window, but we can close Profex. And these standalone programs can run independently of the Profex main window. We can also launch them from the menu here. So we don't need to keep the Profex main window open if we want to use this module. Another highly anticipated feature is sequential refinements. Here I have a series of similar data sets and I can create a refinement sequence, edit, 
create refinement sequence with all projects. And now it configures the project in a way that every project uses the output files of the previous project as input files. So the results of this project are used as input files for this project, the results of this one as input files for this one. And now we can run a batch refinement. When we double click on the strongest peak to identify our phases, the matches listed down here are now also listed in the search match window. So we can open window search match phases and go to the results list. Now we have the same matches listed here, also in, listed in this window. And the advantage is that we can now just activate all of them and check the line positions, which one is the best match. In the preferences, we can also configure the number of matches listed after double clicking. In the section reference structures, the page double click phase matching. The default is five matches. We can go up to 10, for example. And we can also use the not only the strongest peak to identify phases, but up to the three strongest peaks. So if we increase this to three, now it will list phases, not only the one with the strongest peak nearest to the double clicked position, but also the second strongest and the third strongest. Sometimes this can improve the match list quite a bit. Then the behavior of the context help was changed a little bit. If we open the context help window over here, we can now click somewhere and show the context help of this keyword. The context help now also shows help for interpreter commands like the if then else command or the if def command, which wasn't shown before. In the instrument dialog, if we decide to use the, the text editor instead of the graphical editor, we also have a context help here. Works exactly the same. You can just click somewhere and it automatically shows the help text. We don't need it. We can move it to the right and snap it to the right side of the window or drag it back into the window. If you want to see a list of all changes, go to the Profex website, to the What's New page. Here you will find the change log of version 5. Hopefully you appreciate this new version of Profex and the new features. You can get it from the website. As always, it's open source, it's multi-platform and it's free for academic and private and commercial use. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.